was it like what was going through your head as you stood up and you raised your right hand and took that oath? Um, it, you know, it was surreal, a little teary-eyed. It's, it's just such an honor to be able to serve the people of our district and to serve Iowa. Um, you know, I, I can't be a soldier. It's not my thing, but this is my way to give back, and I'm really proud and very excited about it. Um, and then, so, I guess, what... Um, What's your forecast, I guess, for this upcoming uh, legislative yeah. session? What are going to be the, the big priorities? What are going to be the priorities for you? Yeah. You know, my priorities are always going to be to, to listen to everyone back home. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's who sent me to Des Moines to represent them. So it's going to be really important that I communicate with our district. Um, and the other priorities, you know, they kind of laid them out. Obviously, education and funding are going to be kind of on the top priority. We've got some budget cuts to make. But, you know, the big thing we have to remember is, it's less than one and a half percent of the budget that we have to cut. So Iowa is doing well. The economy is doing well. We need to continue to grow it. It's strong. Um, but there's going to be a lot of challenges in this session, um, and we're not always going to agree. But I think that the good thing is is that we're all Iowans and we're neighbors and we're friends. And and the, at the end of the day, we're just we're all voting for what's best for Iowa. Right. Uh, and earlier you had mentioned that uh, you uh, have some items on your desk to kind of remind you of home, constituents, uh, promises you made. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yep. I have an um, autographed baseball that the governor signed at a fundraiser for me at the Field of Dreams. Um, we all know it. Everybody across the country knows the Field of Dreams, and it's in our backyard, and it's in my district. I'm really proud about that. Um, we'll have, I have some family photos and some um, little gifts that my friends and family sent with me to remember that. I need to stay humble and say my prayers. All right. Uh, and then, you know, aside from, um, you know, those kind of mementos to, to remind you of home, you've also got somebody sitting right next to you to, to do that as well. Can you... I do. It's great. My youngest daughter, Sydney, who's 20, and a student at UNI will serve as my clerk, so we get to experience this together, and it's a really exciting time for both of us. Great. Uh, and then uh, can you talk about... Um, or address maybe those constituents who are more progressive that might be kind of concerned about um, the tone and tenor of this session and maybe the, the agenda moving too far to the right. How do you plan on, you know, working across the aisle? Well, you know, in the end, the, the voters have spoken and they, they elected Republicans from the top down. So I think they were looking for conservative viewpoints. But again, the big thing is, is that you represent the people that voted for you and we're just going to have to do a really good job of communicating and listening. I won't tell um, constituents in our hometown that I'm going to vote for something if I'm not. If I change my mind, they'll be the first to know before the vote happens. Um, but I'm willing to listen to everybody and, and come up with the best plan for our district. Actually, when I was first elected, uh, the Republicans were in control, so that, that is the same. But it's uh, quite an unusual situation to have uh, the Republicans in control of both the House and the Senate and the governorship. And uh, we have a tremendous responsibility to do a good job, and we are absolutely accountable for what happens. So uh, the work we do needs to be good work. Yeah. Um, so we've heard from um, uh, Republican Party leaders, um, you know, they've kind of laid out a pretty uh, ambitious, uh, aggressive, conservative agenda um, for this session, collective bargaining, um, voter ID law, um, some other measures on there. However, your campaign, though, you, you stressed kind of a, a bipartisan tone. Can you talk about how you plan to, to carry through with that? Yes, I'll be glad to. Uh, I think um, it's very, very important, as we are in control, that we do things in a very slow, steady, comprehensive way, not try to uh, turn the world upside down in one session, but to do things carefully and what we do, do, do well. And uh, I hope that we will... Uh, be cautious and very deliberative in, in the efforts we make. And, and also, I very much hope that we'll be involving the uh, Democratic Party in coming up with uh, as, as much as possible with consensus approaches to some of these issues.